the problem is not us. The problem is not even necessarily the world. It's simply that our inner resources, our biology, you could even say, is not built to handle the kinds of inputs and stimulation that it is currently surrounded by. If you imagine you had a house that was built 50 years ago or 75 years ago, it was a much simpler time. The kinds of inputs that you would have to the electrical system in the house were much, much simpler. You maybe had a refrigerator, maybe you didn't even have that. You'd have a, a few little things you plug into the sockets, but it was very, very simple. And imagine fast forwarding to the current age and imagine you have that same circuit box in your house, but in this 21st century where you have so many things, so many devices, computers, all sorts of appliances, maybe you're even charging your car at home now, there's all of these things. And the circuit breaker just is not simply, it's simply not designed to handle all of that. It was designed for a different time in a different place. This is like our mind, our brain, and our body, our nervous systems, you could even say. We have too much input. We have the 24 seven news cycle. We have social media. We have work demands and family demands that are just constant and never let up. At the same time, we don't have time to process that. We have very little time in our day for being. We talked about that in the last session. Being is like a foreign language that most of us haven't even learned. We don't even have any space where we're simply existing. We're constantly filling our lives with more information. And so what happens is like a circuit breaker, it just breaks down, it shuts down. And that's what it feels like when our emotions tend to crop up. 